Oh, I don't know where I am. We exit Belorado by following the well-marked Camino through the town's medieval streets. When we come to Highway N120, we cross it and turn right. And from there, we parallel the highway on a wide dirt path covered in decomposed granite to make it less muddy. Well, sort of. In five kilometers, we reach Tos Santos. And in a few minutes, we leave Tos Santos on another dirt path. After about two kilometers, there's teeny Viambistia, population 45. The town once tried to attract pilgrims in the Middle Ages by telling them if they dunked their head in the local fountain, it would cure fatigue. Oh, a what badass pilgrim now? Okay, it turns out the story refers to the old fountain in the main plaza. But you really don't want to bother the fish. With at least my head invigorated, I duck into the 18th century Iglesia de San Esteban for a moment of quiet and to ask how I could fall for such a silly marketing ploy, especially on a chilly day. After taking the dirt path for less than two kilometers, there's really small Espinoza. From here, we turn right and walk through rolling hills and fields for about three kilometers. comes up along the dirt shoulder of N120 and enters Via Franca Montez de Oca. This was once a Roman city named Euca, which later became Oca. In the 17th century, more than 18,000 pilgrims stayed here each year at the Hospital de la Reina. I imagine there was a lot of anxiety amongst those sleeping there because of the next challenge, which was ascending the Oca Mountains with its reputation for thieves attacking travelers. Now, of course, we don't have to worry about that today. Onward and upward into the Oka Mountains. The climb can be sometimes steep, 
but the worst of it ends after a little more than a kilometer at Sierra del San Mian. A few point of sorts, half obscured by trees. And a few feet from here, we have a place to rest. Climbing to the top where, in two kilometers, we meet this involuntarily unemployed engineer offering drinks and food. Hey, what, uh, what kind of cold thing? Uh, energy drink of lemon, refresh it of orange, refresh it with lemon, beer, beer with lemon, water, or a juice. Um, I heard something with lemon. Ah, uh, quarter glass that. Is that a thing or in this cell here? Oh, I'm a Yeah. Okay. A few feet beyond his stand is El Monumento de los Caídos, or Monument to the Fallen. No, it doesn't commemorate pilgrims for once, but victims of the Spanish Civil War. Nearby, another place to rest, with the knowledge that the climbing will ease up for the rest of the day. That means, of course, what goes up must come down. And descend we do for half a kilometer to a bridge over a stream. Then briefly back up before the dirt road largely levels off with a pleasant walk through sometimes thick forest. And then, just as the skies threaten a major downpour, we come to San Juan de Ortega and duck inside the Monasterio de San Juan de Ortega. It's a case of perfect timing. Santa Domingo comes back into the picture, if peripherally. A disciple of his, Juan Velasquez, who is buried in this church, is credited with developing the road through the mountains from Via Franca to Burgos. He's also the patron saint of innkeepers and fertility. Now that odd combination came about after Queen Isabella la Catolica prayed at his tomb when she was unable to conceive and bore two children, Juan and Juana. Now, I wouldn't recommend opening up his tomb here, but the story goes that that's exactly what someone did, and a swarm of white bees came out, said to be the souls of unborn children that the saint was protecting before they found a womb. Despite the thunderstorm, we have to leave the dry church and continue our path through the mountains I guess it could be worse. We could get hit by lightning. The storm eventually passes, and we descend into Ahes, the town looking soaked and empty. Mm. 
after passing through the village, the Camino hits the highway shoulder with the occasional hard-to-ignore political statements. And we finally see our destination, Ana Puerta, under the clearing skies. <laughs>